Hello, and welcome to a French audiophiliac. My name is Ben Pitt, and this channel takes a look at high fidelity sound samples reproduction. It covers audio, music, sound libraries, orchestration, arrangements, tips, and more that I have acquired over the years. The purpose of today's video is to take a brief look at Spitzfire's Strings Appassionata and how it compares to Cinematic Studio Strings, also known as CSS. If you'd like to learn more about these incredible sound libraries, head over to YouTube. You'll find plenty of tutorials and walkthroughs. So why am I doing this? I've always been obsessed with sound samples libraries, especially strings instruments, and always looking to find a sound that brings a human emotion, a liveliness, a depth and ease of use. There are many ways to compose, arrange and orchestrate for strings today. You can either play a block of chords on your keyboard, or you can use each string instrument separately and create its own voice using orchestration. So today we'll take a look at the latter using orchestration. To put things into context, I recently watched a similar comparison with Spitfire Passionate Strings versus 20 VST Library by Sergi. Even off. I have included a link to his video in the description. In his video, he is taking a look at a string quintet, an extract from the Adagio movement by the composer Anton Bruckner, to reproduce the same extract using 20 different sound libraries. Absolutely mental, very interesting results. I immediately loved the music and the score and decided to use this particular section to look at some of the orchestration and instruments used. I'm always fascinated to look at other composers' orchestration. I think we'd all agree that one of the best ways to learn orchestration is studying scores. Let's now take a quick look at this work. Here's an extract from Anton Bruckner's Adagio Strings Quintet. In this adagio section, we can see in the score what and how strings instruments are used and arranged. First and second violins, followed by first and second violas, then cellos. With this approach in mind, I have written a short melody for strings and used a similar approach to this style of orchestration. I was surprised to see two violas in the score. Violas for me sing, they project motion, sensitivity, and combining two violas in the world of sound sampling reproduction sounded like a great combination. Let's take a quick look at the chords used in this demo. E flat over G, A flat, D flat over F, F minor. The first and third chords are called first inversions, and these, when used sensibly, can provide great results. Here's the piano version, just to put things into context without the strings.
Let's hear Spitzfire's Strings of Passionata and CSS and how they compare in terms of realism. Which library carries more emotion in this slow example? This is the Spitfire version using first and second violins followed by first and second violas, cellos and basses. Basses here are supporting the cellos playing in unison one octave apart. Next, here's the CSS version using the same approach. In conclusion, and in my own personal experience, CSS just brings more grit, it has more character, more emotion, it brings a deeper connection with the strings instruments. What do you think? Which library do you find has the edge and brings more emotion? Leave your comments down below and if you like my approach to high fidelity sound samples reproduction, like and subscribe. This is a French audiophiliac. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.